I'm a kestrel. And I've got a great view from our nest. Don't you agree? My mummy is flying around here somewhere. Mummy! Where are you? We've got visitors. I'm right here, close to you. Who's come to visit us? They say they are humans. They want to know how and where the kestrels live. Mummy, do you think they're nice? Oh, yes, I think so. Since today I plan to show you how we hunt, they can watch too, if they'd like. Wow, my brothers and sisters are so excited. Show us, it'll be so much fun. We haven't seen this yet. OK, so you just watch me and learn. First, you have to soar high above the landscape. From these heights, you have a perfect view of everything on the ground below. Kestrels are predators, which means we eat meat. But we only hunt for things that are smaller than us, like voles, mice, and even some insects. For example, we won't be able to hunt down a hare because it's way too big for us. While in mid-flight, we can stop very suddenly and search the ground below us. Wow! But Mummy, from that height, everything must be so small. We don't mind that, because with our sharp eyesight, we can easily recognize what's on the ground. In hunting, the most important thing is to accurately target the prey. Once we lock in, we quietly swoop down. Watch me. We snatch the prey using our strong, sharp claws. Look, the hare is laughing at us. I don't think this hunt went well for us this time. That's OK. We don't count this as the real hunt. It was just practice. But the hare is still laughing. He says we're just making excuses. But we won't listen to that old hare. Who cares what he's even laughing about? Will you show it to us again, Mum? It was really interesting. Maybe a bit later, but for now I think I'll fly around and tell the humans more about our lives. As kestrels, you may not find it all that interesting because you should already know this stuff. And up to the heights! Kestrels live all around the world. There are small differences in our appearance depending on where we're from. This place is Australia. That's why we are called Australian Kestrels. We don't build nests from scratch. We always find a hollow tree or something similar to use for our nest. We settle in and lay our eggs. From that point, it takes less than a month for our little kestrels to hatch. For the entire month, our chicks are in their eggs. The male takes care of the female, who stays seated on her eggs. The job of the female is to make sure she keeps the eggs at exactly the right temperature. That's why she stays seated on the eggs. The job of the male is to go out and hunt for food. The female continues to stay with the chicks once they hatch, but only temporarily. After a while, she joins the male in the hunt for yummy food. Both parents work together to take care of their little kestrels. Little ones are always hungry. They want more and more food and never seem to get enough. There are so many things I can see from this height. Can you see them too? Some neighbors are so curious. They want to know who's flying over their heads but they always run away if I come too close. Like Mr. Kangaroo down there, he certainly can jump. Wow, look how quickly he goes. I think it's time to check back on my hatchlings. Mummy, Mummy, where are you? There is a huge bird sitting on a branch and looking at us. He's right over there. Close to the pond. 
Yes, it's a wedge-tailed eagle. I guess he's looking for some food. What does an eagle eat? Same stuff we do. Well, he eats meat as well, but he can capture much bigger prey than we can. Mr. Hare should be afraid of him. There are also lots of small birds living in this world, like here in the forest. By the waterfall, there are so many. Wow! Look how colourful he is! And so tiny! He certainly wouldn't dare try to catch that hare. You're silly. These little birds usually only catch insects or their babies called larva. I like the way they are coloured. The world is full of colours. There are so many shapes. I don't even know where to look first. I'm back. Do you have enough food? You don't? No, there is nothing to eat. Oh, we are so hungry. Oh dear, the hare hasn't noticed that the eagle's watching him. I think he better run away now. Oh, I want to see this. Run, hare! Run! It's no laughing matter anymore! Eagle is going to have to wait for his lunch a bit longer. His hunt didn't go well. The hare says that he won't laugh at anyone anymore. From now on, he'll be good and treat everyone with respect. But I don't think that will work on the eagle. He doesn't care if someone is laughing or not. But I believe the hare will be more careful from now on. Well, I think I should look for some food. But this time, it won't just be a demonstration. Now the hunt will be real. But first, would you like me to tell you a little more about kestrels? Thanks to our excellent sight, as we hunt, we see everything clearly. Does everyone else see the same way we do? Each creature's ability to see is adapted to the conditions it lives in. We see things differently than humans. Each type of bird sees in a different way. Kestrels and other birds of prey see the world much sharper than many other animals. When we're hunting, we need to see every little movement in the grass because from high above, everything looks very small. Mummy, what are those birds? We haven't seen them before. Those are parrots. What are they pecking? Don't they hunt like us? Or the eagle? No, they mostly prefer to eat grass seeds. So they prefer grazing over hunting. The eagle is on the alert again. Hey, Mr. Hare! You should hide! Look at the eagle's long beak and sharp claws. If he catches you, little hare, you won't be grazing anymore. The hare doesn't seem as scared anymore. He thinks the eagle won't catch him because he already outsmarted him once before. Let's leave the eagle and hare to themselves and have something to eat. Mummy has brought some yummy food for your little beaks. The eagle says he's hungry just from looking at us. Mummy, what does he mean he wants to have us for lunch? Don't worry, he just wants to eat something tasty, like what you have in your beaks. Oh, Daddy's here. He brought some tasty titbits as well. It's great that we're all together again. Our nest is getting a bit small though. You're all growing very fast. Look, someone's flying over there. And me too. 
Mummy, to where is it flying? I have no idea, but there is a predator flying towards it and it looks like they're going to crash. Oh, look at that! It's a hunt going on in the air! Oh well, it wasn't successful. Sometimes that happens. Shall I tell you some more about how we see? Not only is a kestrel sight much sharper than a human sight, but we can also see a special type of light called ultraviolet. Wow, what's that good for? Thanks to ultraviolet light, we can see the paths our prey make from above. You see, they leave trails that show up only on the ultraviolet light spectrum. Aha! Mummy, the hare is laughing and saying that you are much too smart. Oh, don't listen to him. Do you have some leftovers in the nest? I'm quite hungry now from all that talking. Yes, yes, there's something left. Come to us. Hmm, <laughs> that's so good. The hare is making fun of us again. He says he can take it easy now and no one will catch him. He thinks he can outrun anyone and that the clearing belongs to him. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's the smartest, fastest and the most interesting hare in the world. And no eagle can ever catch him. I'll go flying and find some more food. Meanwhile, why don't you say goodbye to the humans? I'm sure I've told them enough for today. All right, Mum. So, humans, I hope you like visiting us. It certainly is beautiful in this place and we are pretty wonderful, right? So, goodbye. And don't forget your friends, the Kestrels. <laughs>